the paradigm of education is downloading information, you know? So, so we go to school and we, we get an MBA and we download all of the business cases and the, you know, but it turns out when we get out of school that none of these cases are still true because the reality has changed. What we really need to learn is how to make our business case, how to create it, how to negotiate, how to talk, how to be more human. So I would say our education needs to shift away from this complete focus on STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, you know, log logic. Uh, logic, that's always going to be important, of course, but it has to also go towards what I call my book, Hecky, humanity, ethics, creativity, imagination. And we have to teach at our schools. We have to go back to teaching arts, ethics, understanding, uh, psychology, music, sports, you know, the things that make us human. Because in the end, we're not going to beat the machines at being smarter than the machine. There's no such thing. We're going to beat the machines by being human because the machine has no capability whatsoever uh, to match us at being human. It only knows its limited binary world, which may be unlimited in terms of information, but very limited in terms of understanding. You know, a real life understanding is not a database. When we go back to education, we have to change our, our paradigm here and say, of course we need engineers, we need programmers. But in 2030, I can speak to my wristwatch and they can program an app for me, right? Uh, and, and, and so a simple programmer will be out of work. India turns out one million engineers a year, and they work uh, they work for an average of three, four, five hundred dollars a month uh, in engineer uh, building bridges. You know, but in 2030, I have a robot that prints a house and builds a bridge. <laughs> so, so, so if you're going to be an engineer, then you have to be a very, very good engineer, and and, and you have to have human skills, not just the tech skills. Yeah.